This week in Alaska on the most wanted list. Hey, one, two, three, four, five shooters. Five shooters. Oh my gosh. It's a bunch. Sonny, there's two huge Get your gear, Sonny. Let's make a move. Yeah. Lee and Sonny are on the hunt after their first Alaskan caribou. All right, Lee, let's get this done. It's only day two of our trip, and the guys have already spotted their bulls and are on their way to tag out. Let's go, man. I got a shot. Okay. Oh, they're running. Crap. Is that shooting? Yeah. Last week on the Most Wanted list, we continued our quest off-grid in Alaska on a DIY caribou hunt with Arrowhead Outfitters. He's going left and back up the raw. Game on. He's laying in the tundra right there at 477. My good friend Hannah Barron had spotted her first caribou and was able to knock down the first one of the trip. He's done. He's yeah, down. He's down. My first caribou! After a seven hour pack out for Hannah's bull, we had just gotten back to camp and we spot a pair of shooter bulls. Two big bulls. Oh yeah, he's How a nice bull. Holy crap. He's a stud. They're both big bulls. Oh wow. Let's go shoot him. So before we could even get comfortable at camp, we decided to head back out and go after a second bull for me. Oh, there you go, baby. He's done. <laughs> oh my gosh. He is amazing. So Thanks. Oh my gosh. And after a second long pack out, I was so exhausted. I'm not even kidding. I barely made it back to camp. My hip flexors. She done. I'm done. <laughs> and we still had two bulls to go. The guys were eager to get up the next morning. However, Hannah and I could barely move. Christy and Hannah are both suffering from some hip flexor issues. And if anybody's ever had that, you know that once they go, they, they go and you can't walk. Yeah. Even though it's relatively flat ground out here, it is work. It was a tough pack out. It was every 50 to 100 yards, we were stopping to rest. Problem with all this is, is I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if any of the girls are gonna be able to do it. If the pain would go away and my hip flexors, I would go. And that's how I felt about the bull last night, but we were already out there and there's nothing I could do and I just had to get back. It's just, I've never not gone on a hunt with anybody. For the first time ever, I literally don't know if I can make it through it. So now I'm just re-rigging my backpack after having it all apart, so if a similar scenario pops up today, I'll be ready to go and not have to mess with this. At this point, I think Hannah's probably stronger than I am. It'd be nice if my hip would quit hurting. Because right now, I'm useless. <laughs> How's your hip? It seems to be the common issue. My hip's good. I use my hip flexors all the time. Is it a woman thing? <laughs> so they're, you just gotta stretch them out. <laughs> stretch out the hip flexors. <laughs> <laughs> Must be a woman thing then. <laughs> Tell we're bored. <laughs> I think we might go out and do some blueberry picking and some charming and hunting later today. Maybe throw on some flies and try to fish this lake even though they said there's no fish. We're not going, we're not leaving camp unless we see a good bull, a bull that's worth going after. And then Christy asked if later we wanted to go flesh our hides out together. So yeah, that's what we're doing today.
While Lee keeps a lookout for bulls, Hannah and I start cleaning up our hides. This is actually like the hide off the back end of the caribou and I wanted to keep it and take it home and make a pillow or a purse or something out of it. My We're gonna have matching purses. Mm -hmm. See, my stepdad does leather stuff and makes purses and wallets and all that. So if I get it tan, he can make me a purse. He can make Christy a purse too. The hide is so soft. It's, it's like you soft. can't waste it because it's so nice. It's got a lot of meat to the hide and I'm just trying to get it off. I'm so excited to get it home and get this thing dried out a little bit. As the morning fog starts to disappear, Lee calls me over real quick to show me what he found. Hey. What? One, two, three, four, five shooters. Five shooters. Oh my gosh. Bunch. Sonny, there's two huge ones. Get your gear, Sonny. Dude, they're huge. There's two the size of mine. They're huge. Holy cow. Stud bulls. I think they're bigger than Christie's. At least two of them. There's five in there that are all shooters. So if we can get ahead of them, they look like they're moving in a good clip. In the binos, all you could see was this. Really? Yep, I'm not even kidding. Yeah. What were we just saying about this kind of nice rest day? It's like we got our work cut out for us. <laughs> Another two big bulls. There they are. This is gonna be fun. See you tomorrow. I feel terrible. The most wanted list is brought to you by Proas. By women, for women. I am Proas. Gunworks. A thousand yards out of the box. Veil Camo. Unveil your chaos. Tough Country. American values forged in steel. Mana Pro. Nurturing life. Reveal Cellular Camera. Tacticam, share your hunt. To download our theme song, go to themostwantedlist.com and be sure to check out our swag and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The fog is finally lifted on the second morning, and Lee has spotted not one, but five shooter caribou. There they are. That's one of the big ones right there. And that's the other one. I mean, they're all big. Y'all want to see them before you go to get some more uh, excitement? There's all of them in the screen. Hannah and I are unfortunately staying back. I feel really bad. Girls are staying back. They don't feel great. Boys ready? This is going to be fun. Right, love you. Love y'all. See you tomorrow. I feel terrible. All right, Lee, let's get this done. Let's, let's do get it. two of them. If we tag out four caribou in two days, that's pretty crazy. It makes for a fun next few days. Yeah, chill and process and stuff. Go shoot some time again. There's nothing right there. Let's get up there and then we can crawl underneath this one too. It's just you can't see that far Alabama. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look how cool that is, dude. Look. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, they look so close to them. How far apart do you think they are? Seven like that. yards. The terrain in Alaska can be really deceiving. While watching from a higher vantage point, it looks as if the guys were right on top of the bulls. But in actuality, they were still quite far and separated from a ridge, which allowed them to stay hidden and get in a shooting range. The downside, however, was they also couldn't see the bulls or which direction they were headed. They're probably like 700 yards to our right. Wind's blowing this way, so we're gonna kind of stay up wind of them. They've been feeding this way, so they might just feed to us. We might just get up here and post up and they might just feed in front of us and then we could just get a double shot. The guys were playing it safe and about every 20 to 30 yards they would stop to see if they could find where the bulls were. Let's just keep going uphill, keep our wind in front of them.
The guys are sneaking up on them. They look like they're right on top of them. Golly. Man, I hope they get him. Let's get our rifles out. So there's the third bull in the back. They gotta be within 600 yards. Hold on. Well, I think we still get a little bit of ground because they're kind of working up this way. I mean, I think if we get up to that bush, they're within 300. Yeah, I was thinking under four. Yeah, it's doable. They're all right there. This is so cool. I would have to shoot that one. And that one. And that one. <clears throat> all of them. You could have been out there with them right now if we hadn't a shot first day. to the group of three. I just need to figure out which one I'm gonna shoot. That one's good right there. The other one to the far left looks bigger. Not the blonde one? No. Which one do you want, Lee? He's a good looking bull. Got a shovel. He's looking right at us. He's getting the gun out, I see it. Uh-oh, that one's looking right at him. They better shoot. It's starting to move away. Here in the barren lands of Alaska, Lee and Sonny have finally made their way into shooting range of five caribou bulls. Yeah, they're right there, Lee. Which one do you want? I don't know. Oh, one's getting up. Get ready. Let's see if you can get him. Right looking right at us. He's getting the gun out. I see it. Uh-oh. That one's looking right at him. They better shoot. Starting to move away. He's a good looking bull. But the second one from the right. He might be the bigger one. Yeah. All you see is his antlers. He's the one I want to shoot. Jesus, he's big. While Sonny tries to decide what bull he wants to shoot, this bull decides to rejoin his buddies for an afternoon nap. With three bulls bunched into one group and two in the other, the guys get plenty of time to pick out the bulls they want to shoot, range them, and set up for a perfect shot as soon as they move. What's up? What's up? Yeah. Tyler, what's up? I still think that blonde one is super cool looking. That blonde one for you. That blonde's got a shovel. He's got one, two kickers on the back. The blonde does? Yeah, left. That other one's bigger. The one on the right has four of them coming off his left beam. Can you imagine if all four of us would have been here? Ba -ba 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 -ba. On day one. That's good though, you clear it out. When your stands up, that gives you an open shot. You don't have to worry about anything. Need those things to stand up. Sonny, what, what are you going for? I haven't decided yet. They're all bumped up. They only want to sleep. They only want to shoot them. They're full of blueberries. We're full of nothing. Even 
the one on the right of the group of four, or the one probably just past that blonde one. After quite some time, the guys finally get some movement on Lee's bull. One's getting up. What's the range? 375. They're looking at us. What is 365? Tell me when you're gonna shoot. 356. Don't go real far that other one. You're gonna have to hold. That other one's behind him. Yeah. Two for one. He's perfect. Yeah. Come on, dude. He's moving. The Most Wanted list is brought to you by Can-Am, Off-Road Living, Baku E-Bikes, Elevate Your Game, Furman Generators, Rely on the Unexpected, Wiley X, Premium Performance Protection for Work, for Play, for Life, Record Rack, Serious Nutrition, Serious Results, Pyro Putty, We Get You Lit, Mountain Ops, Energy and Performance Nutrition, KC Highlights, Adventure Further, Phone Scope, The Future of Digiscoping, Really Right Stuff, Made in the USA. We're here in Alaska and Lee and Sonny are onto a group of five shooter bulls. I know what's behind you. Yeah. Come on, dude. He's moving. You can tell me when you're going to shoot. I got a shot. Okay. Gosh dang it. Did he just lay back? No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now that one's up. Found one you like yet? That one that just got up, he's pretty cool. Which one of those three on the left? I like the far back one. Yeah, it's kind of the one that's when you're laying down. Yep. Ooh, I don't know, that one's that got a left. cool deep shovel. Yeah, the one on the left? Yeah. Let's see how it plays out. Let's make sure we get there. Are they feeding towards us now? They are. They're gonna be right on it. He's 240. That one? Right about. Okay. Frank, 335. You take him when you're ready. And you stop. Don't we stand up? No. Mm -hmm. He's inside of him. I can't see him. I can't. I just can't see his belly. Lee seems like he's chilling for a minute. I think they're waiting. Yeah. I don't even know which one I would pick. Honestly, okay, I know which one I'd pick. The one in the back. That's the one Lee wants, and I could pretty much guarantee Sonny wants the one on the left in the front. Those two are the second biggest. He's moving. That range right there. Three or four. Did he catch up with the other one? I think he did. He got 273. He got a shot on him? No. Come across his face, maybe I'll give us a shot up here. Oh, God. Can you see it? Yeah, okay, I just want a shot here. Yeah. Do you want to get on the shooting sticks at your knees? I'll be out there in a minute. Good boy. Like Santa Slay out there. I got a shot, how far? 220. Easy stops. Okay. Hit. You got him. Reload. 
He's going now. You have another shot if you want, but I think he's going now. Sure he's hit? He, yeah, he's sick. I heard it, and he's looking sick. He just lied down. I couldn't spot where the impact was, but I heard it, and he's lying down anyways. Yeah, I think he just died. He just laid over. <laughs> Holy cow. And they're still out there. Yeah. Look at, right there, he's just antlers up, antlers up. Oh, one's down. Oh my gosh. Sonny's picking his gun up. They know something's up. I bet you they're winding them right now. Oh, come on, boys. They're all grouped up. They need to spread out. Do I want to get one now? Yeah. Which one of the caribou do you like? Second one from the left? I think so. Maybe turn a little bit. Maybe I'm going to check this out. Damn, they're all nice. Which one need to go? I'd go far left. He's wider, huh? There you go. You ready? I'm ready. Oh, they're running. Crap. I'm just point and shoot, to be honest. If you're at 1.3, I'm gonna wait for me to turn this mid. Should I shoot him? Yep. Do some air squats with Daddy. Yeah. What time? What what time? It's like is fart it? camp out here. Start <laughs> 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 wearing a chastity butthole belt. <laughs>